today we are going to see things regarding polynomial polynomial basically is a combination of expressions with various degrees or powers of variable here a polynomial has been written on the board polynomial basically involves expression separated by plus or minus sign like we have monomial binomial trinomial so on monomial means a single term binomial means two terms for example if we omit these all terms we are having these two terms here separated by plus sign so terms separated by plus or minus sign are called as basically monomials binomial monomial basically is having no sign it will be a single term binomial is two terms then if you are having three terms we omit these terms one two and three terms separated by here we are having a plus sign for generality so this will be a trinomial till here and so on so when we combine all these monomial binomial trinomial we get a polynomial we in generalize they are called as polynomials now if you see we have written this particular thing in a particular fashion here we are having the power of x here also we are having x but with degree zero means the power of x is zero here so x raised to zero x raised to one x raised to two so on till x raised to n means here we are having n plus one terms they are all in x only so we are having different powers of x for each term here we are having power of x as zero power of x as one power of x as two and last is power of x as n because we have arranged it in ascending order that is increasing power of x so the highest power of x if it is a whole number highest power of x is called as the degree see if you see we have written the degree degree that is n n is the power of x that is the highest power it is called as the degree of a polynomial and one more thing is written here that is a polynomial in x means which variable is representing the polynomial here this polynomial is represented by a variable x so here you can see it is written as p of x that is the notation for polynomial of x if here we replace x by y all x will be replaced by y and it will be p of y is equal to a0 plus a1y plus a2y square so on till a n y raised to n that will be called as a polynomial in y generally we use it as an independent variable x so it is in terms of x only now today what we are going to see is we will have different polynomials and we will substitute different values of variable x x is an independent variable it will take different values so how a polynomial changes its values when we substitute different values of x for example if we are having we will consider example of quadratic basic quadratic equation in x p of x is equal to 2x square plus 5x minus 1 Basic quadratic equation we are having. First, we need to check whether this is a polynomial or not. Ascending or descending power of x, no matter. So here we are having power of x as zero, power of x as one, power of x as two. All powers are whole numbers. So this is a polynomial, and the highest power of x is two. So degree of this polynomial is two. Now, what actually we need to do here? Actually, here a polynomial we need to find. Find. the value find the value of this polynomial at x is equal to 0 minus 1 to any values you can find out okay so now what we need to do actually what we need to find out here is see the solution how we start is first write the given polynomial that is polynomial in x we are having 2x square plus 5x minus 1 this is the required polynomial now this polynomial is in terms of x and the question says replace x by 0 first so at x is equals to 0 means what wherever we have x it will be replaced by 0 so p of x means it will become 0 so wherever you are having x we replace it with 0 and this is the thing wherever we are having x we replace it by 0 so the final value of the polynomial at x is equals to 0 2 into 0 will give you 0 plus 5 into 0 will give you 0 minus 1 so therefore the value of this polynomial at 0 is minus 1 now next value of x is minus 1 so here what we'll write at x is equals to minus 1 means what we what we need to find p of minus 1 we need to find because x value of x is minus 1 and our polynomial is in x only So we replace x by 
minus 1. So our polynomial that is p of x, what is given to us is 2x squared plus 5x minus 1. We replace x by minus 1 to get minus 1 whole square plus 5 into minus 1 minus 1. So therefore p of minus 1 is minus 1 whole square will give us positive 1. Positive 1 into 2 will give us 2. 5 into minus 1 will, will give us minus 5, minus 1. So therefore, value of polynomial at minus 1. Minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. Minus 6 and 2 is minus 4. So see, as we are changing the value of x, first we substituted x as 0. We got value of polynomial minus 1. Then we substituted x as minus 1. We got the value of polynomial as minus 4. So as we change the value of x, we get the value of polynomial differently. If it is a polynomial in x, if for example, if for example, our polynomial is this. First we need to check whether this particular thing is a polynomial or not. How we check it? If the power of x is a whole number, then we say it is a polynomial. So you will say, sir, here we are not having any x to be seen here. But if anything is not there, can we write this as 3 into x raised to 0? Because non-zero quantity raised to 0 will give us 1. Now x raised to 0 is 1. The degree that is the power of x is 0. That is a whole number. It is a polynomial. Now here in this particular case, if we need to find the value of the polynomial at x is equal to 1, 2, you take any value. You get the answer as 3 only. Why? See, add, first what we will do, sorry, add x is equal to 1. First, p of 1, substitute 1 in place of x, but we are not having x here, basically we are having only 3, so your answer will be 3 only. Here, add x is equal to 2, value of polynomial add x is equal to 2. Wherever we are having x, we replace it by 2, but we are not having any x. So our answer will be 3 only. So this particular thing, this polynomial, in terms of x where we are not having any x, is called a constant, constant polynomial. This is a constant polynomial. So for different values of x also, you get the same value of the polynomial that is given in our question.